So the first question that we're going to have to tackle is what exactly is assistive technology? So in short, assistive technology is a device or program that helps someone with a disability increase, maintain, or improve their functional capabilities. Uh, particularly, with relation to activities of daily living. So a couple key words to point out here, device or program, someone with a disability, double highlight disability, and functional capability, activities of daily living. We're gonna hear a lot more about those in the future. Particularly, people with disabilities can use assistive technology to overcome social, technological, or physical barriers. Overcome those things. So let's think about a couple of potential examples of assistive technology. Uh, one example, so let's talk about examples, examples, examples of assistive technology. You're also going to see AT a lot. Examples of assistive technology. We might consider something like a motorized wheelchair. is considered a type of assistive technology. You might see somebody on a motorized wheelchair getting around in public. You might also consider something like a screen reader. Assistive technology. You might consider something like an automatic page turner. To be an assistive technology. We can actually also compare assistive technology to other closely related types of technologies. So let's see, other related technology. Something like a rehabilitation technology, a rehabilitative technology. There's a lot of overlap here with assistive tech, but the focus with rehab technology is on recovering independent function. So that you don't need it anymore in the future. With assistive technology, we typically don't make the assumption that you won't need it in the future. This is just to something to help you overcome those barriers that we mentioned. There is also augmentative technology. Augmentative, augmentative technology. Augmentative technology. And this is typically about going beyond what is typically possible. for a healthy, able-bodied person.
So if you think about things like you know, an Iron Man exoskeleton or something that helps you run faster and jump higher uh, than a right, person, I'd probably thinking about augmentative technology there. There's also adaptive technology. In this case, uh, this is actually a subset of AT, so subset of assistive tech. It's a subset of assistive technology and covers products with the same goals as assistive technology, but things that would rarely be used by someone without a disability. So the same goals as general AT. Uh, but things that would rarely be used by someone without a disability. So we can think about, for example, cases of assistive technology that are not necessarily adaptive technology. Uh, for example, a, a very well-known case is of curb cuts. Uh, curb cuts are um, designed for people to be able to get on and off the street, onto the sidewalk. However, able-bodied individuals use those kinds of things all the time. Uh, for example, if you're using a wheeled cart uh, or a dolly or something like that, you will often be using a curb cut even as a person without a particular kind of disability. Uh, so. Um, on the on the other hand, things like we like that we mentioned earlier, things like screen readers or the automatic page turners, the, it would be pretty unusual uh, for a person without a disability to use those kinds of things. Uh, now, in some cases, I should mention that the same product may be part of more than one of these categories, and the distinction can really here come solely from how it's used and who is using it. Assistive technology products may not always be designed with that specific intention in mind. In fact, one of the largest overlapping categories of products are those uh, for the so-called lazy able-bodied population, um, as Anson puts it. So these, these products are designed for, for the mainstream market, but for people who simply don't want to expend extra effort. So you think things like uh, TV remote controls and home voice assistants. Uh, now, on the other hand, with the on the other end of the spectrum are products designed for the wannabe superhuman. So think exoskeletons or remote manipulators or an autonomous robots, uh, everything from Roombas to smart thermostats and autonomous cognitive assistants uh, and so on and so forth, right? So given this kind of background for what assistive technology is, uh, we're going to go into a little bit more detail in a future video about what disability is. We'll talk about models of disability. Uh, we'll talk about examples of activities of daily living. We'll talk about devices that can affect functional capabilities for these people. And we'll talk through a couple of examples of different kinds of assistive technology and how they might look through different lenses of disability.